Yeah, well, my name's uh, Roberto Gonzalez, and uh, I'm an artist, you know, from here, you know, locally. You know, you look uh, at the map here, you've got, you know, huge cities like Houston, Dallas, and a few, uh, I think it's like a nine-hour drive from, uh, from Houston, you go down to uh, San Fernando, and you have incredible tragedies happening there. It seems like it's a no-man's land in a way. Uh, people know more about what's happening in Syria or in, you know, in Africa than what's happening right on the border. I was originally born in Reynosa, which, you know, across the border from McAllen, uh, and I uh, grew up on a, it's not actually the city of Reynosa, but uh, like a farming community outside of Reynosa. It's called uh, uh, Diaz Ordaz. You want to tell me why, why you came the border, why you switched in the border? Like, well, that town is literally on the border. It's like right along the river, like right next to the river. Yeah, you know, people think there's a line there that separates the U.S. and Mexico, but it's, that's not really the case. You know, like I met people you know, from Texas, when I've been, you know, in other parts, and I tell them, you know, I'm from, you know, I'm from Texas, and, I, and they tell me, well, what part of Texas? And I'm like, I'm from McAllen. And they're like, well, that's not really Texas anymore, you know, that's Mexico. <laughs> you know? And like, I met, you know, people from Mexico when I've been, you know, like in New York, and I tell them, well, you know, I'm Mexican. I was born in Reynosa, and they're like, that's not really Mexico anymore, that's, you know, that's the U.S. <laughs> that border, you know, this whole area, it's, it has its own culture, you know, it's, it's not a, you know, black and white, it's the whole, Shifting of uh, values of gray in there. It's an, it's, it's, a, it's a photo from a, a, you know street musicians in Mexico, and it's uh, something that I grew up listening to. Uh, you know, the corridos, the narratives of uh, you know the north of Mexico. Uh, so I grew up listening to this kind of music, you know, and you know when you go to a wedding, I always thought it was really interesting because you see people dancing, and then you listen to the lyrics of the of the of the songs and. You know, they're talking about killings, you know, of a brave man, you know, killing somebody. So, you know, I think it's really, uh, really interesting that, that idea that musicians can make something really pleasing to, to listen to that is otherwise really unpleasant. Uh, so that's what I wanted to do with my work. I wanted to tell stories. Uh, the story that is very prominent along the border is the, uh, you know, the, the drug war. And there's a, a lot of, uh, a lot of drama, a lot of action. You know, uh, look at all these photographs that I've been able to gather from, you know, the internet. You know, people ask me, you know, how come you just focus on the negative, you know, the borders more than the violence? Well, and I think an artist cannot give you, one artist cannot give you an accurate, you know, representation of the border. I'm giving you something that interests me as an artist and fits my personality. Uh, that's my opinion, what I think. It's, uh, I'm not saying that is the only thing that happens, but it is what interests me. It is what uh, what really motivates me to pick up my paintbrush and you know and paint. I think one theme that's been you know you know relevant for a long time is the uh, you know illegal immigration. I think we, we kind of uh, forget as to why this is. Uh, one thing that was a big factor is the the free trade agreement. It made it possible for a lot of crops from the U.S. to be sold in Mexico very cheaply and. and and that, it, it made uh, crops grown in Mexico not profitable, so people that were making a living farming, they couldn't sustain their, you know, they couldn't sustain their families. And, I mean, there has to be something that motivates a person to, you know, cross the desert, you know, cross the river, you know, risk their life. I mean, it's not because they just want to go have fun. You know? And it is, you know, the struggles of, you know, sustaining their families that really motivates them. It's stories that I know something about, you know, personally, and that is why I think an artist can only paint what they know. Uh, so this is what I know, and the dramatic quality of it, it really appeals to me also.